What intrigues me about Google is they do have everything in-house that both Apple and Microsoft do not have. They have a gigantic model and arguably the best organized framework of knowledge on the internet of anybody. So what I'm torn with is, is, is basic features for summarization, rewriting, all these sort of things that we're seeing help simple natural language engagement with the bot. Is that enough at a system level? Because I think we would all agree, right? If Apple doesn't have a gigantic model, they're not going to let open AI or anybody else integrate at the system level if it's not theirs. And, and arguably Microsoft could be in a little bit of a similar boat, right? Let's say that search GPT becomes a thing. And then, you know, chat to, like how deeply will Microsoft take that to the system level when they don't own it? I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe they'll be more liberal than Apple, but Google's got all of that. The other thing I wonder is if you're using Google services, do you necessarily need it at a system level? Because if you're already using Gmail, you already use sure. Google Maps on like an iPhone, for, uh, for example, you don't necessarily need it at a system level because it can still grab from your account. So let's say Google wants to sell Gemini as a service and Apple allows Gemini to work with Apple intelligence. Is there really any net difference to the user to have those system level hooks if it can just grab from all of your data already? I, I'm with Max on this one because I do think that that is the real value of using something like Gmail, right? It doesn't matter if I'm on my phone, on my PC, on a you know Chrome device, is the same experience across all of that and it allows me to actually go across ecosystems at a minimum, right? Because you might be Android or iOS, but then the PC comes in because there are more people with a PC on Windows than there are with either a Mac or a Chromebook. So I do think that for some users, that ability of going across is going to be the, the real thing. At the same time, I do think that general query is not as much of a hook as it is my personal part. So if I look at, which again, to your point, Ben, that's something that Google can do because they, they kind of know me across the board the same as Apple does, but Apple doesn't have the ability to do that general search, and which is why ChatGPT comes in. But to my point is the personal stuff, in my view, is the one that is more valuable to the human being and the one that you're least willing because of privacy concerns or because of you know where your stuff actually sits to share across. I think that's a good point for Apple intelligence because Gemini is still happening at a data center. Any of these new Gemini advanced features still happen on a data center. The only things using the new Gemini nano multimodal is text correction, uh, the new screenshots app, and a few other things here, the weather app. But most things are still going to the data center with a bunch of TPU units running Gemini 1.5 Pro. That's still happening even if it's on your pixel because the, the models just can't run locally large enough to do it. And that's where Apple's really, it works out well where you have the secure cloud and it runs on device for almost everything. Can't do as much, but at least it's secure.